five fragrances I love and five fragrances I hate. I've seen a few other people do this, so I figured I might as well do it, why not? As always, I'll put my usual links in the description for, for these fragrances, or at least the ones that I think are good. Uh, and let's get into it. So I guess I'll start with, well, I'll start with one that I like. I'll start with one that I like, and then I'll go to the one that I hate, dislike. So first one I'm going to put up is a really, really good one. This is Ambre Sultan from Sage Dutan. So this is actually unisex. But if you would smell it, it, it's pretty masculine. It's it's very resinous. That's the thing about it. Super heavy. I would say super seductive. This is, I mean, you got the the amber in there. You got some myrrh. You got a ton of different resins. So this is very much like um, burning incense or something. It has that smokiness. Um, it's very solid. Very strong. Definitely not for everyone, because it is so strong and, again, kind of a little bit more on the masculine side, even though it is unisex. But it's just really nice. Like I said, kind of mysterious, smoky, seductive, very, very nice. Uh, very high quality fragrance here. And just unique. You don't get too many fragrances that really focus on the resins, uh, because this is definitely, that's the core of this, is resin. And uh, that makes this, you know, you stand out from the crowd when you wear this. This is a really nice scent. Um, again, both good for men and women, just high quality, nice, you can rely on it, and it'll last a very long time, I would say around eight hours, maybe even more, on some people. But yeah, really nice if you like resinous, heavy, smoky uh, sort of fragrances. Then, going on to something that I dislike, is uh, my nemesis. The very shiny card of Versace Eros Pour Femme. So, if you are a seasoned watcher of my videos, you know that every time this comes up, I get a little bit angry because this is such a disappointing fragrance. It's just kind of diluted, watered down, no longevity, non existent, like 30 minutes, 20 minutes pomegranate fragrance, which in itself is fine, I like pomegranate, but it's supposed to have a lot of other notes, you know, these citrus and the florals and whatever. Mostly pomegranate that you get, maybe a touch of citrus. Um, it's just really weak, really disappointing, it's not gonna last for anything, even if you wanted to put this on going to the grocery store, it's just out the window. It's gone. No one will smell this on you, even if you put on- if you- if you drench it in yourself, it, it'll still disappear. People will not be able to smell this on you unless they're just like, really close to you. But, really, I would never wear this. I- I don't wear this. I still have the vial, but I just don't wear it because it disappoints me so much, it hurts my heart. But, so, never mind this one, it's too weak. It doesn't perform well. Then, moving on to, um, Quite a favorite of mine. Unfortunately, it's very expensive, but it is very nice. This is the Oud Satin Mood. So, I love this because it has Oud in it, which is a very fine, very nice, warm, woodsy note, mixed with Turkish Rose. And when you mix that rose, that little bit of sweetness, with the more musky, woodsy note of the Oud, it is perfection. Wonderful. It is very warm. A little bit on the heavier side, but I would say more moderate in general. Uh, definitely not as heavy as, you know, the Ambre Soutin. This is just very nice. It's unisex. I would say it leans a little bit more on the feminine side, but men could definitely wear it easily if they want to do something a little bit different, you know? But what a good fragrance, to be honest. Like, this is probably the most luxurious fragrance I've ever smelled. And that makes up for it in the price. You could see that it's two or three hundred dollars, you know, quite a lot. But I mean, this is, you know, this is, if you want something really unique, really special, and really, you know, luxurious and sophisticated, I would definitely recommend Oud Satin Mood. Uh, the Eau de Parfum, really long lasting. Um, and, you know, you can rely on it, whatever you're doing. I would say it's more of an evening fragrance, but, you know, it, it's pretty versatile. Then, another one that I 
can say I just well yeah this one I just like this is Marc Jacobs decadence so this I'm not a big fan of mainly because of the smell because longevity is actually really good uh, I would say probably longevity like I don't know more than six hours maybe even s probably seven hours long time so this is a very sweet fragrance but it has a weird opening to me I've, I've heard a few people who say this as well where it's kind of like this weird vinegar pickle opening almost a very kind of strange opening then it becomes very 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 sweet I'm not into that really um, it's not not my thing but some people do like it but I've, I've seen quite a lot of people who also kind of dislike it for these same reasons so De definitely not my favorite. Maybe if you don't smell the pickle note, and if you don't smell, uh, or if you like very sweet fragrances, maybe you'd like this, but I just think it's kind of strange smelling fragrance, so, you know, I I'll put this off to the side. Then, this one is actually polarizing more than I thought. This is the Chanel number no. 5. This one I very, very much enjoy. Uh, a lot of people don't wear it anymore because they call it old-fashioned, uh, the grandmother fragrance, and I mean, there's a good chance that your grandmother did wear this, it came out in the 1920s. My grandmother wore it, but I think it's a really great fragrance. It's classic, still the number one best-selling fragrance in the world, uh, beautiful florals, aldehydes, very warm notes like sandalwood, uh, some amber, oak moss, you know. All that nice stuff. So very sophisticated, classic scent, very feminine, um, not too sweet definitely, it ha you know, that's probably another reason why I like it. It's not overloaded with sweetness, it just has a little bit of the natural sweetness of the florals, and then mostly it's pretty warm with some amber, amber notes and things like that. So I really like this, great longevity, seven hours, maybe more, um, really nice reliable fragrance, you know, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Then. The next one. This is the, this is uh, La Vie Belle from Nakong. Many many people enjoy this. This is kind of the the magnet, the super popular thing that a lot of people are wearing. And um, I'm not a big fan of it. It's a little too sweet for me. It's nice. I wouldn't say I hate it, but <laughs> it uh it's a little just too much for me. It's like, the sweetness is nice. If it, if for me, if the sweetness was a little bit toned down, I'd probably like it more, but it's so strong. It lasts like nine hours and it's just pure candy, like cake icing sweetness. It's just a little bit too much for me. I can't, I can't handle it. My nose is too weak for this, this fragrance. So I don't, I don't really wear this one, uh, but it is very feminine, very nice. And again, most people enjoy it, so. The next one, and you could probably see, based on my preferences here, why I don't like La Vie Belle, because the one that I do like is Youth Do, and a lot of people are have mixed feelings about this. This is a super spicy, super strong, like, borderline, it's gonna give you a headache, sort of strong. So and the reason I like this is because it's... So this came out in the 50s. This is, uh, it will last, I would say, eight to nine hours. Pure longevity, powerhouse. And the spices are really strong. You got the cinnamon, the cloves, nutmeg, then florals, uh, balsamic notes, amber, you know, very warm and heavy fragrance. But when it calms down, it becomes very elegant, very powdery warm kind of uh, autumnal you know very unique these days because not many people wear it anymore except usually maybe older people so it's really nice to stand out you know nice if you want a strong scent a vintage scent or if you just like spices and i really like spicy fragrances so this is nice for me and i like that it's not too spicy because it is intense but it really smooths out with some of the floral notes some of the amber notes, you know, so it's not crazy, it's it's smoothed out at a certain point. So, anyway, I really like this one. Then, moving on to... Now, this is another one that a lot of people really enjoy. I wouldn't say I hate this one, but I don't wear it very often. This is, uh, 
back up, yeah? This is... This is a pretty fun and playful scent. It's often used at the clubs, you know? Uh, very... Very intense. It has some black coffee notes, some orange blossom notes. Uh, very versatile, very intense, strong fragrance. Now, kind of the same thing with me, I guess, is it's a little bit too sweet for me. Also, uh, it's it's strong in a way I don't really care for. So, I just don't wear it that often. It is a good fragrance, don't get me wrong. Again, a lot of people actually really enjoy this. Um, but I just don't wear it personally that often. So, then moving on to one that I do like, and I currently don't have the bottle with me, but Calvin Klein Obsession. This one I quite enjoy. It is another one of those that is pretty polarizing these days. Very popular 80s fragrance. I mean, it was like the, the female fragrance of the 80s, pretty much. Very animalistic, especially compared to today's fragrance standards for women. Uh, definitely very heavy, almost on the level of used to, a little bit. Not quite as spicy, more musky. Uh, very warm. I think it's a really delicious, very sexy fragrance. Uh, it has those animalistic notes, but then it's smoothed out. I think there's some vanilla thrown in there. It, it's very unique. It's very... You, you could... It's recognizable when you wear it. Very strong as well. You, nine hours, you know, it'll, it'll last you forever. Um, and I would argue it's a pretty good unisex option as well because it is pretty musky, pretty animalistic, um, with a touch of sweetness, you know, it's not too brutal, but, um, very, very nice fragrance. That's, that's a common one that I really enjoy. And then I guess we're ending on one of the dislikes here, and again, I, this is kind of a more of a minor dislike for me. This is a Versace Yellow Diamond, so I want to put this on. I put on quite a lot, you know, just putting it on all, all, all the pulse points. Um, it's primarily a kind of citrus floral fragrance here, you know. It's not that strong. It's not that impressive. Uh, you, you put on a lot. It does smell nice. I, I will admit it smells nice. A lot of people enjoy this. Um, but there's nothing that really stands out to me. Like, when I wear a fragrance, I want there to be something that I really, really, really love and, you know, like, something recognizable, something characteristic, something with layers and complexity. I find this one a little bit simplistic um, because a lot of the notes are very similar to each other. Again, if you narrow it down, it's just kind of citrus and some florals. Nice natural sweetness. Um, kind of a body wash sort of... Um, smell to it, clean and fresh, feminine, but again, kind of simple, and the longevity is not that great, because again, I put on quite a lot, it maybe lasted like an hour and a half for me, um, maybe two hours stretching it, but, you know, longevity is kind of on the minor side of this, so I don't, I don't hate this, but I don't wear, wear it that often, because it is a little bit simple, it's a little bit on the weaker side, so, uh, but it is nice, just a simple daytime fragrance, um, it's affordable, and it's, I would say it's good for the summertime, because it is on the fresher side, but that's my list, the fragrances that I love, and the fragrances that I, uh, hate, or at least dislike a little bit, um, so, if you thought this video was interesting, of course, you can leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.